This is Firepoint, lesson 5.1 with Prophet Raymond. Let me give you my testimony. God began to quicken my body. He caused my body to shake. God caused my body to rock back and forth like a Jewish person at the Wailing Wall. He's Alpha and Omega, says the Lord. I began to ask for strategies, God's plan for my life. And he will be there for his people. They will see his hand in their life. I began to pray to the Lord Jesus for groanings and utterance to come upon me. See Scripture Romans 8.26 and Scripture Ephesians 6.19. Sometimes the Spirit would be upon me, causing me to groan and utter. I began to pray for translation of tongues, 1 Corinthians 12, 1 through 12. I know that God is speaking to his prophets. I ask the Lord to help me to speak to him on a higher level. In this season, I felt pregnant with this gift of utterance, and I knew that God was about to change my life forever. I was in Tampa, Florida, working as a manager. There was a job that I disliked within my duties, and I prayed to the Lord Jesus and asked Him to bless me with a spiritual gift. My work became my worship unto God. Bless me with a gift, Lord Jesus. That job was picking up trash around the property. I told the Lord Jesus that I was going to pick up that trash like it were my own property. The management were pleased with me and said whatever you want we will give it to you. The property across the street began to put up fresh paint on their apartments and trim all their trees. More people visited the establishment I worked at, bringing in more money for the company. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. See scripture Matthew 3, 2. I had to change the way I thought about myself. My wife showed me two leaflets advertising conferences. One was on walking in greater faith. The other was for the activation of the prophetic gift. We prayed and took a significant seed to West Palm Beach, Florida. My wife and I sowed into the Prophet's ministry. The next day at the place I call my Bethel, my activation became a reality. God began to speak to me in my place of prayer, Bethel, the place of my new identity. See scripture on Jacob's ladder, Genesis 28, 10 through 17. You are a prophet to the nations. Do you remember when I was quickening your body with my Holy Spirit? Yes. Do you remember when you were nodding, groaning, uttering and asking for translation? Yes. And the Lord said, 
Now I'm going to activate that gift. Here are some Hebrew words Nabi, Ra, and Chosa. Nabi prophet. Abraham was a Nabi prophet. He bubbled forth the word of God. He first received the word in his spirit man and spoke what the Lord told him to say. They made him the Lord, the personal saviour. He's Alpha and Omega, and he's the Lord of Lords. There are times when I'll have communication with the Lord through a dream. This way of communicating is called Ra. The third way God communicates is through an open vision. This is when God invades your time and space to bring you a message. Everything will just roll back as you receive from the Lord. As I began to yield, He made me into a new creature. I have had all these experiences with the Lord Jesus. God may be working with you in another way. Continue to test the spirits and ask Him to order your steps. See you on 114. There will be justice in their life because He's their God. They made Him the Lord, a personal Savior. He's Alpha and Omega.